guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry to my channel you have joined me on my digital journey i have been led by the holy spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day if this is your very first time tuning in go ahead subscribe to my channel and please share it with your family and with your friends hello to my family and to my friends thank you for joining me on my digital journey Thank you for your words of encouragement and thank you so much for your support. This particular episode mm, is going to be so awesome and your support definitely is much needed. Um, this episode is episode 362 and what are we going to be talking today about is sabotage. Yes, sabotage. <laughs> so buckle up. <laughs> sit down and get ready to hear the holy spirit so i've had this word pending for quite some time and i was very very excited because i know what it is that i've been going through what my family has been going through but everything everything is within god's timing um it's practically like five years now that i'm basically sitting on this word so eager to say hey sabotage I know it's sabotage but hey you don't move until God tells you to move okay and it's so crazy is that I just completed a, an assignment um, and as soon as they did some changes within the organization that spirit of discernment hit me that word sabotage almost like whoa so I went ahead start praying I was like you know what God you know, I thank you that you've given me that spirit of discernment. Everybody doesn't know it, but um, but have it. But I basically could just smell it a mile away. And everything that we basically go through, um, there's just a lot of different spirits out there. You've got good spirits, you've got bad spirits, evil spirits, you know, it's just crazy. Um, and um, I'm going to introduce to you the spirit of sabotage today because it is definitely a spirit that you need to be be very very vigilant about and pay close attention but let's get you the definition of sabotage so you could basically see what it is and where the holy spirit is taking us today the definition of sabotage means um deliberately destroy damage obstruct okay um, it says the act of intentionally trying, mm, I love that word, trying. When you sabotage, you are trying to stop someone from achieving something or to stop something from development. So you're going to do whatever it is that you say. But there's a scripture in there that says um, all things work together for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So, you know, when people come in to sabotage you, they're trying, okay? But that don't necessarily mean that it is going to work. They got to do whatever it is that they think that they got to do to get you out of the picture. But again, for those of us who love God and are called according to his purpose, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Ain't going to happen. So the only how you can avoid sabotage from happening is if you build that relationship with God, that intimate relationship with God, you definitely ask him to give you that spirit of discernment. So all the foolishness and the sabotaging and everything that people come against you and your family members, you way ahead of them. So you definitely gonna know how to deal with them, you know how to pray, and you know how to stop them in their tracks. You know why? Because the prayers of the righteous avail it much. And a lot of people don't take that into consideration. Um, I basically was just talking um, to someone about the power of agreement. That may be another golden nugget that I dropped another day. But the power of agreement is serious. 
when two or more are gathered and we in agreement and we ask for anything in God's name. So guess what? You and I are going to agree today that the spirit of sabotage has no hold on me. It has no hold on you, your family members, your business, whatever it is that you got going on. It does not have a hold and it will never form and it will never prosper. Okay? Trust and believe. And I'm sure there's a scripture out there that God wanted me to bring to your attention. Let me see if I find it because I've got so much stuff going on. But I like to make sure that I like take notes once I come on here so that I can basically show it to you. So let me see about this spirit of sabotage and what we basically find. Let's see if I can find me a reference to a particular scripture. Or if not, I will basically see what it is, what the Bible says. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. It wasn't a particular scripture, but it was a particular story in the Bible. And it was talking about the book of Nehemiah. If you know the story of Nehemiah, what he was called in reference to rebuild the wall. So um, it says, the Bible says that Nehemiah and those who worked with him had overcame the opposition because he had so many opposition. Nehemiah was faced with a spirit of sabotage, okay? Go ahead, familiarize yourself with that story. Um, it's the book of Nehemiah, and of course, we know that the word of God is true. Um, and then it was talking about the conspiracy of sabotage, which was definitely revealed in the book of um, Nehemiah. So that is what God wanted me to point out to you today. The book of Nehemiah, it was not a particular scripture, but go ahead, get familiarized with that story if you don't know already to see how all of this thing that was going against Nehemiah was basically brought into the front, but it was taken care of because God is no respecter of person. And if he did it for Nehemiah, he can do it for you. The word of God proves to be true. And God is a shield to all of us who come to him for protection. I'm so excited that you have joined me on this digital journey. And my question that I ask you each and every day is, are you hungry? Are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread.